hello everyone welcome to our channel today i'll show you guys how to do a soft as well as a hard reset for fitbit versa 2 so let's get started if you are someone new to our channel please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos like this one smartwatch and smartphone reviews tech tutorials and much more also check out our playlist app to find categorized videos for various content we post on this channel where you'll find a playlist exclusively for fitbit versa 2 with 78 plus videos so be sure to check it out all right, so I have this Fitbit Versa 2 with me over here, where I'll show you a few ways to factory reset, hard reset, as well as a soft reset this device. I have done a video for how to soft and hard reset Versa first generation, which had three buttons, and the video is linked up here in case if you guys wanna check that one out. Now, since Versa first generation had three buttons, there are a few options to hard reset, which is also called a factory reset, with the buttons in case your screen was frozen or the watch is unresponsive but here in the versa 2 or the versa light edition unfortunately you don't have the other two buttons so i will also show you later in this video what to do if your versa 2 has frozen screen or when it's just not working so let's start with a scenario where your screen is working and you want to factory reset the watch so to its original manufacturing status so basically this option will erase everything from the watch and make it as if it just came out of the box for the first time. This process is also known as hard reset. You can use this option if you were to sell your watch or give it away to your friend or family member so your data does not go to the next person who will get your watch. And to do this go on the setting which you'll find in the app menu Now in the settings scroll all the way down to find about in the about section scroll all the way down to find the option to factory reset once you click on it you will be prompted to confirm reset this Fitbit and it will also caution you that it will erase all the personal data and app once you click reset your watch will basically turn off and in few minutes it will start again and then you will set it up as a new device as you did for the first time when you got it out of the box this whole process may take a while for me it has taken approximately 25 minutes give or take in case if you guys want to check the whole process out i have done a dedicated video for that it's linked up here in case if you guys want to check it out i am not gonna do the reset now as i have apps on this watch which i have lined up for future review videos but check this video if you really want to see the entire process once you're done watching this one i will also say that once you have performed a hard reset you also have to go on the fitbit mobile app find the connected versa 2 and you will see this delete icon on the top right as shown over here this option will basically delete the Versa 2 and the relevant data like clock face, apps, Fitbit Pay and fitness as well as other data from your mobile app and the Fitbit account. This is crucial especially if you were to reconnect the formatted device back to the Fitbit mobile app. As if you haven't deleted the watch from here, it may not connect or on the contrary, if it does, it will cause further connection and synchronization issues. I will also emphasize that do not delete the watch from the Fitbit mobile app before formatting or doing a hard reset as sometimes doing this will cause your watch to freeze up. Alright so the above process will only work if your screen is working. Sometimes here's what happens when you are on a particular app and the app is frozen which means that nothing will work on that app except ex exiting the app which has happened to me in the past. When this happens you will not be able to reopen the app. Ideally in my opinion I have seen such so called app freeze in connection demanding apps. Let me know in the comments down below if you have encountered it. So in that situation, don't worry, all you have to do is a simple reboot also known as a restart. And to do that, you have to again go in the settings, scroll all the way down to find about. In the about section, scroll all the way down to find shutdown. 
Once you click yes, the watch will shut down and then long press the left button to restart the watch. It's as simple as that. What this will do is it will kill all the background processes and apps which were frozen. It will also free up the RAM so once you get the watch on, the frozen app will start working again. It will be also a good idea to restart or reboot your watch and even the phone at least once a week to get the background processes killed and have a fresh start. Ok now comes the interesting one. Let's say if nothing is working, even your screen is frozen and you just can't do anything and you feel frustrated, so before throwing the watch to the wall, try this. Hold the left sided button, sometimes it will activate Amazon Alexa if you have assigned Alexa to the left sided button, but just keep holding until the watch turns off. Instantly let go the button once the watch is turned off and soon the Fitbit logo will appear. After this, it may take a minute or two to start the watch, but let me explain you what just happened. This whole thing is also called as a soft reset. So what it basically does is it kills all the background processes, closes all the apps and background functions, so when the watch starts, it'll be all a fresh start. Most probably just doing this should be enough to get the watch backup working just fine but if you have a faulty app or process which keeps freezing up your watch every time it turns on then the best practice will be that once the watch turns on straight up go directly onto the settings and factory reset your watch so that the faulty process or app is permanently removed and that should fix the issue. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope you never have to encounter a frozen Fitbit Versa 2 but if you do, try all these things and it should work. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.